Hey guys, it's Rachelle. I started selling digital designs in April of 2020, and I've grown my Etsy sales to over $90,000 by using PicMonkey to create digital designs. Over the last two years, I played around with multiple design programs, but I've always came back to PicMonkey. PicMonkey allowed me to create 100% of my designs from scratch, including my mock-up images, my business branding, and my business logos. PicMonkey has been my holy grail to digital design success and financial freedom. However, as I look towards the future, I have to decide if I want to continue to grow my business with what I'm already doing, selling PNG files, or if I want to reach out to a new market of customers. In this video, we're gonna talk about using Canva or PicMonkey for your digital design business, or perhaps both. I am by no means a graphic designer, but I am a mom who took a chance. As I grow my digital design business, I would love to teach you along the way. So let's get started. My digital market, my niche, was PNG files. I didn't focus on anything but PNG files for two reasons. One, they are super easy to make, and two, no one was complaining to me about not selling other types of files. So why fix something that's not broken? I wanna start selling SVG files because I wanna expand my business. So what's an SVG file? An SVG file is a scalable vector graphic file. Your customer can scale it as big as they would like while keeping the digital integrity. No matter how big they make it, it will not become blurry. The niche I would be marketing to would be crafters who use a Cricut or Cameo, some kind of cutting machine. But maybe your market would be print shops or other businesses that scale these up for commercial use. So I've stayed away from SVG files for so long because they are more time consuming than making a PNG file. And I was content with only selling PNG files. But as my business is growing, I do get asked several times a day if I do sell SVG files. So for the last month I've been testing, well actually I've been retesting digital programs that fit my needs. I've tried Adobe Illustrator, CorelDRAW, Inkscape, and Canva. And Canva's the winner. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not in love with Canva, but it is the best option for my goals. I will not go into details about Adobe Illustrator, CorelDRAW, or Inkscape because I probably didn't give it a fair shot. I'm a busy woman. If I can't figure it out fast, I'm over it. They all were great, but they did have a higher learning curve than Canva. So let's talk about Canva. Like anything else, Canva does have a learning curve, but it is very user-friendly. However, there is a lot of things it lacks. Canva can be pretty frustrating, but it does great with creating SVG files, which PicMonkey doesn't do. I will continue to use PicMonkey for my PNG files. PicMonkey definitely has more freedom and creativity in graphic design, but Canva is great for simplistic designs, SVG downloads, and that shareable and edible links that I'm dying to get started with. Let me show you two ways your customers can use Canva with the SVG file they just bought from you. In a previous video in lesson number five, I showed you how to create a PNG cut file. When we upload this PNG cut file to Canva, there's nothing that your customer can do with it. It is an as is image. But if I convert the same PNG file into an SVG file, my customer has a little bit more freedom with this design. Now when they upload the SVG file to Canva, they can change the colors as they need it. And even though my customer may not use this design in a cutting machine as a cutting file, they might still want to change up the colors for, for a customized sublimation design. Not only are they able to change the colors of this SVG file in Canva, but they can create a new design with it as well. Let's go over to the Canva elements and create a new design. Let's grab this cute little dog right here and just real quickly, let's add the flower to it and a cute little font. Let's create a shirt that says, life goals, smell all the flowers and pet all the dogs. Look how cute that turned out. And now instead of only selling one file type, you can save this as multiple files. You can save this as a PNG file 
in SVG file and as a PDF file. Then upload it to Etsy all in one listing, reaching multiple buyers. But I do wanna tell you, don't let this overwhelm you. If it's too overwhelming for you to learn something new right now, just focus on PNG files. I do not regret only selling PNG files for the last two years. And I have no intention of rushing out and producing a lot of new SVG files, but I do want to have SVG files that I know that my customers want and need. So let's sum this all up. Should you use Canva or PicMonkey for your digital design business? The bottom line, if you can afford to use both, go ahead and use both. If you have to decide between one or the other, you have to decide what your goals are for your business. If you're only going to sell PNG files, I would 100% go with PicMonkey. If your shop is mostly paper printables like calendars and things like that, then I would go with Canva. And if you want your customers to be able to edit their designs, Canva is a great option. The downside of your customer having access to customizable designs is they have full control of that design and you lose the potential of making custom order income on that product. But for printables like invitations and party supplies, that's a great option to offer your customers. Both options are great and will still cost less than $25 per month. So I say go with both. So if you're curious on what makes me so frustrated about Canva, let's head over to canva.com and I'll show you. Let's take the same dog image and duplicate it. And if you look, if I pull it over to the side, it completely disappears and I can't find it anywhere. Like where did it go? I cannot see the layers to my design and I also can't find the tool to erase. Like let's say I want to erase the dog's ear. I can't find that tool anywhere. It's very frustrating, but let's head over to PicMonkey.com. So with PicMonkey, if I duplicate the image and pull it over to the side, I can still see it and I can grab it if I need to work with it. And I can use the eraser tool and delete any part of the image that I need to. I can easily change the shape of this dog's ears by using the eraser tool and pasting it back on the dog. So that's why I'm so frustrated with Canva and I wished it had that option. Maybe it does. Leave a comment below if I just can't find it. Tell me where to look. But I will continue to use PicMonkey and create custom designs. I really hope this video helped you decide if you want to use Canva or PicMonkey or perhaps use both to grow your digital design business. Leave a comment below and let me know what you choose. Thank you for watching. Do your YouTube magic and don't forget to like, subscribe, and be notified. Y'all have a great day. Bye.